The purpose of this briefing on Aptera is to discuss the company's ambitions for an initial public offering, IPO, solar electric vehicle production, three-wheel variants, and the possibility of a four-wheel model, as well as free power, charging power, and speed as Hypeno upgrades. I'd like to get started. In the first place, Aptera has to re-engineer the existing vehicle so that it can accommodate the larger and heavier batteries that are required for the 600-mile and 1,000-mile versions. The current version appears to be incapable of transporting these batteries that are now available. In particular, the suspension will need to be significantly strengthened if the vehicles that are produced are to still be capable of carrying a weight of 500 pounds, including both occupants and freight. It is likely that the most efficient approach to achieve these vehicles will be to expand the existing design in the vertical direction. This will make it possible to construct shock absorbers that are higher and suspension components that are larger all around. This in turn will result in an increase in the interior height, which can be utilized to either add a third adult seat in the center of the vehicle, behind the front seats, or two seats that are paired together for children and dogs. Even better, a design like this would be able to utilize a significant number of the body molds that are already in use, with the tub possibly being the only component that requires an upgrade. In light of the fact that I anticipate very few modifications beyond this, I anticipate that this version will continue to be able to utilize the same production process as the LE. It is my expectation that the Aptera Sedan will be disclosed just around the time of the initial public offering, IPO, and that a rolling mock-up similar to Gamma, not production intent, would be presented to the press. Despite the fact that it will receive all of the attention from the public, the real manufacturing work will still be focused on getting the 600 and 1000 models off the ground. This could change if Aptera receives a significant amount of money ahead to the initial public offering, IPO, but at this juncture I have a strong doubt that this will occur. As a result, the development of a substantial sedan appears to be destined to wait until after the IPO. Nevertheless, there is one more option to get the 600-1000 mile vehicles. Deliver them as sedans rather than as tricycles. This is because the sedan will be equipped to bear heavier weights anyhow. A fourth wheel helps with this. Therefore, it is more convenient to deliver them as sedans. Aptera has the ability to cancel the pre-orders for the 600 and 1000 vehicles that are now in place and provide a discount for a sedan that has a range that is comparable. Under these circumstances, Aptero would be able to concentrate all of its resources on the sedan while selling only the 400, 200 and 50 tricycles. However, before we proceed, if you are enjoying this briefing, we would appreciate it if you would kindly support this channel, I like it, and subscribing to it. This will allow YouTube to learn about your preferences and will also enable you to receive new video updates as they are added to this channel. I am grateful to you. It's time to get going. The majority of the time, when we provide progress updates from Aptera Motors, a widely recognized solar electric vehicle, EV developer, that comes straight from the source. The company that has been reborn is well known for maintaining an open line of contact with its expanding following, which includes investors, reservation holders for the accelerator program, and electric car fans who are interested in seeing a company bring solar-powered vehicles to mass production. While providing viewers with a preview of the three-wheeled electric vehicle's body in carbon. BINC, which ended up being displayed at GEC World 2024 in Paris earlier this month, Aptera's co-CEOs did a sneak peek at the upcoming app and battery technology for the company's flagship vehicle. It is important to remember that this occurred in the previous year. As we have followed Aptera through its progress in reaching scale of production, which is scheduled to begin later this year, the company's founders have been extremely honest about the finance that is still required to meet the milestone. Aptera still requires additional liquidity in order to propel its solar electric vehicle, EV, past the finish line and into the driveways of early adopters and beyond, despite the fact that company has been successful in obtaining state grants and has successfully raised $34 million through a crowdfunding accelerator program. The notion of Aptera submitting an application for an initial public offering, IPO, has perpetually been considered 
as a potential solution to this ongoing problem. An initial public offering, IPO, is still very much on the to-do list of Atta as co-CEOs, according to video footage that has just surfaced. And these men have some significant plans in place in the event that such a significant milestone is achieved. At the same time that we were unable to locate the origin of the video footage, representatives from Aptera informed us that Free Power had leaked footage for an older investor-only webinar that was exclusive to investors. Although we are unaware of how old this webinar material is, it does contain a few fascinating insights that anyone who is rooting for Aptera's success would be interested in hearing further. According to Chris Anthony, co-CE of Aptera, we would be thrilled to have an initial public offering, IPO, coincide with the beginning of our production. It is obvious that once we begin delivering automobiles, we anticipate that we will get a great deal more popularity and that we will receive a great deal more pre-orders. The fact that we are able to link the beginning of production to the launch of an initial public offering, IPO, seems to be a natural fit that would maximize the benefits of everything. In addition to providing us with growth money, it enables us to launch into different varieties of the three-wheeler and maybe even four-wheel vehicles, which is a part of a larger future strategy to bring our annual production to 150,000 units. Steve Fambro, another CEO of Aptera, followed up with some insightful words, adding that in any business like this, startups in particular, you are continuously soliciting money. Up until this point, Aptera has done a fantastic job of remaining cost-conscious. Nevertheless, as was said earlier, the company has never shied away from the idea that it will require additional funding in order to accomplish its dream of being powered by solar energy. The concept of Aptera is really fascinating. I really hope that they are able to get it going and sell a lot of automobiles. They may require an initial public offering, IPO, in order to bring all of this to market as $34 million is comparable to coffee money in this industry. Having Aptera go public seems like the next logical move to do. Once more, Anthony conveyed. Our goal is to have 1 million Aptera at the door by the year 2033. So, do we go ahead and do that? It will be a plan that requires a significant amount of resources. It will call for a number of factories, and an initial public offering can assist us in gathering the necessary funds to carry out this plan. The public and other investors will become more aware of Aptera as it moves closer to producing solar electric vehicles on a scale that is actually scaled, which will increase the company's chances of obtaining an initial public offering and truly scaling up to mass manufacturing. Aptera is right now working on production intent builds, which will be utilized for validation and crash testing in order to guarantee the safety of its products. Additionally, the company has committed to providing additional information regarding its forthcoming partner supply agreements once they have been officially inked. Today, you may reserve your Aptera at EV for a down payment of $70 if you are interested in joining the solar pack. Aptera has stated from the outset, in their initial filing with the SEC, that their second car will be a sedan featuring four wheels and seating for five passengers. Due to the fact that the whole attention is currently being directed toward this first, two-place vehicle, they have also stated that they would not discuss it until they begin getting closer to their initial public offering. In the wings, there is a complete fleet of Aptera vehicles eager to embark on their journey. In the event, if they manufactured a vehicle with four wheels, it would be required to adhere to all of the standards that are related with autos. That corresponds to a significant alteration in the body. With regard to the charging power of Aptera motors, the male connections on the power line do not have to be similar to one another like the following. The end that is connected to the vehicle can be a Tesla connector or a G1772, and the end that is connected to the wall receptacle can be either an EMA 5 to 15, grounded 2 blade, 110-120V, or an EMA 14 to 50, grounded 3 blade, 200 and 2240 v or any adapter that you choose to use. It was explained by Aptera that all Aptera vehicles, including the first launch edition vehicles that are rolling off the assembly line, will be equipped with DC fast charging. When it comes to our launch edition automobiles, the business claims 
that it will be able to provide DC fast charging capability ranging from 40 to 60 kilowatts. It is our intention to provide an update on our maximum charge rates once the testing has been completed. We will also be working on a version with 100 kilowatts of power, which will be released at a later time. The DC fast charging system that we have developed is designed to be compatible with the supercharger network. This means that if Tesla decides to make their network accessible to Actor owners, then your launch edition vehicle will be up and running. There are 60% more North American charging standard posts on Tesla's supercharging network than there are on all of the CCS equipped networks combined, which means that it has the potential to be a significant selling feature for prospective purchasers of the Aptera. We can't wait to see where you take your launch edition vehicles now that the fast charging standard has been implemented. Aptera was always intended to be a vehicle that is capable of taking you on a genuine road trip. We are absolutely awestruck and inspired by each and every one of you who are dedicated to Aptera. Through consistent innovation and development, we will work together to move transportation toward a more sustainable environment that is powered by solar energy. Aptera Motors has moved closer than ever before to delivering its flagship solar electric vehicle, EV, to customers, which will be branded with the company's name. During a webinar presentation, the California-based startup revealed new information about its launch edition solar electric vehicle, EV. The EV features a unified configuration that includes all-wheel drive and a range of 400 miles. However, Aptera still has a few obstacles to overcome in terms of finances and infrastructure before it can begin delivering these solar EVs to the general public. There is more below. Since the firm's initial introduction of its flagship solar electric vehicle, Aptera Motors has been working tirelessly to deliver it to its ever-increasing number of devoted reservation holders. Some of these reservation holders were customers of the company when it made its initial attempt to scale solar electric vehicles in the late 2000s. There are a lot of things that Aptera has been doing correctly throughout its second attempt at the game. We have had the opportunity to ride in an alpha prototype witness the better destroy a Tesla and an Audi R8 Spider in a drag race and receive transparent monthly check-in videos from co-founder Chris Anthony on YouTube. All of these experiences have occurred within the context of the past two years alone. We were able to have a close look at the Gamma version of the Aptera Solar Electric Vehicle, EV, in September of last year and we communicated with the team about their intentions for the Delta design, which is intended for production. A couple of weeks ago, Aptera presented video footage of Delta, promising to offer more precise details. This was done in advance of today's presentation. To be more specific, the news that has been reported today pertains to the launch edition solar electric vehicle, which will be the first of many long-awaited client deliveries. If and when production begins. As far as the creators of the startup are concerned, getting to that point might not happen for another year. As a result of the live webinar that took place today at our headquarters, which was guided by co-founders Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony, there is a great deal of reason to be thrilled about the launch edition solar electric vehicle, as well as Aptera vehicles in general. Having said that, it is accompanied by a sense of caution, which is always prevalent in the roller coaster world of electric vehicle startups. First things first, let's concentrate on the good. With the exception of a few lighting and other validations, Aptera has reported that it is pencils down on the overall design of its flagship solar electric vehicle, EV. Moreover, the process that will be used to build and scale the SEV has also been definitively established, which is yet another check mark. Additionally, agreements regarding supply are being negotiated. People who currently hold reservations in the event that you are absolutely eager to get your hands on an Aptera first, you might want to think about switching your configuration to the launch edition. As far as the team is concerned, the following is the order of priority in which the SEVs will be constructed in the event the production begins. At this point, we are finished with everything for the time being. We appreciate you watching. As soon as the next video is released on this channel, we hope you will be able to join us.